second, boys and girls. So we are about finished here. I did want to give you a few reminders um, to be careful when you are coloring. Um, even after you have found your yarn, there are still pockets. And if you um, push too hard, you can create holes in your foil. So do be careful um, where there's any little pockets of air um, or your foil starts to bunch up. It can definitely tear. So go about it carefully. Um, I want you to fully color it. So as you are coloring, please make sure there's no scribbling like this, but you make sure that you come up to the yarn line and color fully, just like if you were coloring in a picture. And then you are done. After it is fully colored, have a friend check it for you. Make sure you didn't miss any spots. And we will be gluing these to a larger piece of paper so we can display them in the hallway um, once they are finished. I look forward to seeing how they all turn out. Notice I chose a color scheme, so I stuck with just like four colors, four or five, maybe five colors. Um, all of your lines will be silver just because the foil is silver um, but you don't have to include all your colors if you want to do just one color one or two colors um, that's fine just find the areas that you want to put them in and make your own pattern um, if you want to use lots of colors that's your choice too but do be careful and fully color have fun